video time. So, um, it's gonna be about the, um, the plasma. So, um, so basically I'm coming up on a year of donating plasma. Started uh, April 28th of last year, so I'm about six days shy of that mark right now. But anyway, um, so on the 14th, I've reached $5,000 in plasma earnings. Uh, it's close to almost 100 donations. But uh, I think that's a pretty good milestone, you know. But anyway, um, so the plasma center, Opta Farmer Plasma is the plasma center that I donate at. So they've been closed now for, uh, today's the fifth day they've been closed for. Um, and that's all across the US, all the centers are closed. So and that's due to network issues, according to a Google search and what they post on their website on the uh, Otta app. It's network issues. So I did a little Google search and found out that they were the victim of ransomware through their IT department, ransomware. So, so then basically they got hacked or whatever. So, you know, that's that sucks because I passed by the donation center just on my way home. I was I glanced over, and the parking lot, of course, is empty. I passed by recently yesterday. The parking lot is empty. So why well, I should take that, I take that back. Yesterday there was two cars, but I think no, I think those are management vehicles. Um, but as far as employees and donors, that parking lot is empty at the center that I uh, attend. So um, yeah, man, I'm just thinking about like how the employees are affected. Hopefully they're still getting paid. You know, this is no fault of their own. But then, you know, you're thinking about the donors, some of them that, uh, you know, it's their only source of income. For others, like myself, it's a supplemental source of income. But yeah, it sucks, man. So I can't wait for them to open the doors back up and for, you know, business to resume so I can hear all the, uh, you know, all the complaints and all of the stories of, people have gone through or experienced since the, the doors have been shut so the sales over 150 locations uh, across the US so all of them are shut down so so yeah like I said I've, I've enjoyed uh, the donating plasma experience it's a win-win win for everybody the people that receive it on the receiving end donors through compensation and all of that you know so it's I personally think it's a great business and you know for this to happen right now it's like man you know they're open basically they're open seven days a week well at least at the location that I'm at seven days a week oh, excuse me so, you know, just kind of one of those places where, you know, they open up seven days a week, you just kind of think that they wouldn't, you know, there's nothing that could stop them, you know, from operating business, but it just goes to show you that, you know, in the cyber world, there's many ways to, you know, stop operations, get into the system. So hopefully they get a result soon. Today is Monday. Um, April 22nd, 2024. So the last day that I actually donated on was eight days ago on April 14th. But since uh, I've been able to donate, eligible to donate twice since then, which would have been this past Friday and yesterday, the 21st Sunday. But the app isn't working. Uh, you click on that, it says, for some reason, the app can't load. Obviously, it's due to the network issues. So 
So you can't see your balance on your card with the app. You can't see when your next eligible donation is on the app. So it's gonna throw a whole lot of things out of whack, I believe, because um, the only how it works is if you miss a day that you're eligible to go on, if you miss so many days in a row or whatever, you can drop your payment tier down. So I don't know, I feel like a lot of people may be affected by that or maybe when they, they get it resolved, they're able to get things back on track or where a person would have been at without the interruption. So, so yeah, um, <clears throat> caught everybody off guard, of course. You know, like I said, you get used to going on your certain days or whatever to go donate and something like this you know comes out of nowhere and you know you can't do what you would normally do as far as like you know your routine and all that kind of stuff but uh you know it's all good i'll speak for myself anyway it may not be good for a lot of people but you know that's why i always say it's good to have um uh, you know multiple streams of income so but I said, uh, you know, right at my year mark, you know, I've earned $5,000 even as of uh, April 14th. So I thought that was a great milestone. And I've been preaching since day one that people um, that may be on a fence about donating or thought of it, you know, you should do it. It's very rewarding, you know. So yeah, so I'm sure a lot of, I, I just thought about this idea now, but I'm sure a lot of people have probably gone to other donation centers that are not out to Farmer to go donate. I just thought, but I guarantee that's part of what's happened. So if that's the case, then um, they may not even be out of pocket. It's like, oh, okay, just go to another donation center that's not affected by ransomware. Now the thing is, some of the people may come back. They may not come back. Um, but I'm not going. I'm not going to another center. I'm not going to go start up anywhere else. I like the center that I'm at. I like the staff. So I'm good with waiting it out. It's not a big deal. But uh, but yeah, that's what's been going on today. Is day five, and more than likely I'm gonna get an email this evening. What they've been doing every evening is sending out emails, like you know the status update. And the past four days has basically been saying that hey um. The center will be closed the next day so basically don't show up so yeah uh, you know basically at this point i'm only out of just the two days that i've missed i'm only out 100 100 bucks roughly I'd say 100 110 dollars roughly But, uh, yeah, whenever the doors open back up, we'll get back to it. You know, not that one a year out, we'll keep going. I'm going to keep advocating for it. I'm not even getting sponsored by it. it just, I'm just giving you my my honest take of um, why it's a win-win for everybody. And, you know, it's, the options there for people that, you know, may want to try it, may want to get some extra income, easy money. You know, they provide you with... Uh, TV screen, um, nice cool AC. You got your cell phone, so you can be on your phone or whatever, whatever you like to do on your phone, entertain yourself. So, yeah, it's uh, so it's been great. So yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna allow this to to stop my routine of showing up or whatever. I'm still gonna keep going whenever the doors open back up hopefully i see a lot of the staff are still there and a lot of the returning donors are still there that'd be great to see we have a lot to talk about so anyway i'm going to end the video so yeah we're uh we're day five of uh centers being closed down with uh auto pharma